name is Edson Buttle. I play for the LA Galaxy, and you're watching Footballer TV. Yeah. There's a announce, big announcement, obviously, that David Beckham was coming into town. What was your first thoughts? Oh, I think it was a good, um, it was going to be a good experience. I think it was going to be a challenge to play in stadiums that were going to be packed, and um, a lot of eyes are watching, mm -hmm. and uh, it's going to help raise my level, you know, it's either going to make me or, or break me. So I think uh, so far I've lasted, and uh, hopefully I can continue to have success um, with all the eyes watching. How do you feel the season went this year for L.A.? Uh, I scored a lot of goals. I think, unfortunately, we let up a lot of goals, and um, I think that was our demise. Um, we didn't finish too well in the standings, um, not making the playoffs. I think it was a disappointment for us and also the organization. But uh, next year, hopefully, we can tighten things up a bit and continue to score goals. You got into MLS what year? Are you coming to MLS? Uh, 2001. How do you feel the MLS has uh, developed? Um, through the years, from 2001 to 2009? Um, MLS came a long way. I think a lot of younger players have something to look forward to, um, which keep players sharp all year round. So I think the competition, the competitiveness of uh, the league is uh, much greater than it was um, prior to when I, when I started. Mm -hmm. And um, I think now you're going to see a lot more better players come into this league and um, it's going to develop once more teams are, are in the league and we're going to have better competition for the fans to watch. Suggestions on MLS on how they can develop or a good feedback for a pioneer like yourself? Well, I think the salaries is number one. Mm -hmm. I think they need to help raise the salaries for younger kids and kids' parents that have good jobs and make a decent amount of money and want their kids to be successful and see that they can make a living you know, in this league. Mm -hmm. um, that's definitely going to assess one. Um, second thing, I, I think you have to believe that you can make this league better, you know, um, by the talent we have in this country. We have a lot of good athletes, and once we get the soccer mind um, there and, and it becomes, you know, installed in, 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 in our culture in the United States, I think we'll see a lot more um, development and better players that can compete um, worldwide. Do you have any suggestions for um, kids who look at you as a role model coming up, um, what they think they should be doing? Um, to get himself prepared to try to be a professional soccer player. What do you think is the, the key? If you had one thing you could tell him. Uh, who's one thing I could tell him? I would say, think which how you treat yourself. You know, I think if you, the things you do off the field is gonna, you know, hurt you or benefit you on the field. I think that's that's the most important thing. You know, I think it's what you want um, is what's gonna make you excel in whatever you do. You know, so it's on, it's on the personnel of the person to decide and make that choice early and what they want to be good at. And who's the best player you ever played with? Um, best player I ever played with. So, uh, I think see, Yuri Jorkayev was a good player. Yeah? Yeah, I, th I like him. He's French. He played the World, won the World Cup. Now you play with him on what team? Uh, Red Bulls. I think he's the best player. Any players that you feel is a good impact in your young years coming up? I would say the person that gave most impact is McBride. Brian McBride. Yeah. Off the field, he's a you know first class guy. Yeah. So, uh, again, McBride. just like every other season, with Beckham has been there, a lot of expectations. You have a high standard. Um, what do you think is going to be key for you guys to have a successful season? Well, I think being together as a team with for LA, you know, and fighting for each other, I think off the field, if we hang out as a team and, you know, get to know one another, it's going to transfer on the field. So I think if we can get more of that going, um, I think we have some more success, you know, as a team. So you think that um, with the players coming in and out, it was kind of hard to team the gel? Exactly. I think a lot of changes in, in LA. It, yeah. it hurts the team. Yeah. You, know? so you have to give time for people to mold and, and feel each other out. But I, well, unfortunately, with the, the the franchise LA, they're used to winning. They don't want to give the team time to, yeah. to 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 gel. You know. But I think this dude, Bruce being the GM, you know, coach. I think he's gonna implement those things. All right, my name's Edson Buttle. I'm wearing footballer clothing and you're watching Footballer TV.